Can it be I stayed away too long? And did I leave your mind when I was gone? It's not my thing trying to get back. But this time let me tell you where I'm at. You don't have to worry because I'm coming back to where I should have always stayed. Now you make it to your story. And is it enough love for me to stay? Listen, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my precious, lovely, beautiful family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, the DJ. This is a story. That really, you know, y'all be careful out here. Because I love to fish. Okay? It's the only thing I do. I haven't went fishing at all this year. Due to um, just a lot of other circumstances. And I didn't, I don't, didn't really, I felt I didn't want to deal with the, um, the, the, the crazy because I usually go out so far fishing on on the outskirts and up north that it's just that I didn't feel it was a good time, you know. And I just basically lost my whole summer. I won't let that happen again because time is too precious. And um, one of the things, again, like I said, I love to do is fish. But to think what's happened to this a California mother... After her, listen, she is recovering after losing her arms and legs due to a bacterial infection. Laura Barajos, 40, is um, refusing interviews at this time, and but a GoFundMe has uh, been set up for her. Anna Messina, a family friend, organized a $150,000 fundraiser and interviewed with the Kron 4 about the family's journey. Messina described Laura as a 40-year-old mother to a wonderful six-year-old boy named Gail in February, I mean, in the fundraiser, and it's launched nearly a week ago. Abarajas has reportedly been in the hospital for over a month. Anna says the mother purchased some tilapia from a local market in San Jose. Y'all better listen to this real good because they they're gonna get us one way or the other. And it's gonna get to the point where you don't need to be eating nothing with a face. And if you didn't grow it, you better leave it alone. Um I'm gonna show y'all my garden. I got peppers, I got tomatoes, I got jalapenos, I got wax beans, I got um green beans, and when the temperature drop a little bit more, I'm going to bring them on in the house. I sure am. And a lot of y'all don't know how to self-pollinate, um, but you can look at some of them videos right there on the internet. And if Maybe one day I'll do a video just how to you know, self-pollinate when you bring your um, plants inside. Those of us who live like in the Midwest and still want to feed ourselves. I got some my peppers are real big and, and good, so I really do believe they got, they're gonna. This is how they're gonna they're gonna try to, you know, make a lot of us sick. I do believe that, and I'm not a Marjorie Taylor Green type, but there's some truth to some of that stuff that they be saying. You know, um, Barack Obama told you grow your own. He was a. I wonder why he kept saying that. Now I know. Anyway, Crime 4 reports that Laura was the only person to eat the fish after cooking it at dinner time. Anna wrote that Laura realized something was wrong the next day. The doctor diagnosed the mother with Vibrio Bonifius. Hell, I ain't never even heard of it. 
<laughs> uh, the, centers, the, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued an advisory notice on September 1st about the Vibrio bonifius infections in the U.S. Their health notice warned healthcare professionals to consider this disease as the cause of any for any infection contracted uh, within co for coastal waters, especially near the Gulf of Mexico and on the East Coast. Fatal infection reports say contaminated contamination has come from wound and foodborne illnesses. The CDC says anyone can contract the real from an open wound or by consuming contaminated oysters or other undercooked seafood. If you don't consume it, the dripping or juices from contaminated seafood in contact with an open wound can expose you to the bacteria. An open wound exposes to contamin uh, exposed to contaminated salt water or brackish water, and that's water mixed with salt and fresh water, can also be infected. Now what kind of, what kind of madness is this, y'all? Per CDC, symptoms may start with diarrhea and cramping and escalate to fevers and chills, blistering skin lesions, and leaking wounds. Holy sh... Jesus. Holy Jesus. It can also spread to other parts of the body. A vibrio bonifice infection can lead to fasciitis, which is an infection that causes death of your flesh. Now, I, so for those of us who like to live off the land, that's a, you won't have to limit it, limit your resources, especially messing around in these waters, because it's, it's, the, it's just not, it's nuts. Anyway, as for Laura, doctors reportedly believe she contracted the bacteria from undercooked tilapia. The, severe, the severity of her illness escalated, leading to doctors to amputate all four of her limbs on September 13th. Damn. Her family friends say Laura's husband, Jose Valdez, a co-worker of Anna's, will need significant changes to their lives to adapt to their new circumstances. I, you think? She don't have no arms and no legs. Damn. More than 87,000 from over 1,700 donations. Uh, my heart goes out to the, this Valdez family. Uh, keep the faith. And, um, uh, what a story. Y'all be careful out there. Be careful.